Hello and welcome to Raiding Christmas Dinner Food. Yeah, well, I got my wife here today. She she wanted to do one with me. So... I'm instantly regretting that decision. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's see where we go with this. We got uh, several tiers here. Looks like seven of them. God tier, excellent, very good, good, meh, and poor, as well as awful. All right, what do we have starting off here, wife? I don't know what that is. Is it gravy? Yeah. No, that, it's alphabetical. It's alphabetical. So <laughs> this is a good start. <laughs> so we got bro broccoli, broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Uh, can we, know that we trying to inspect it doesn't buy a close. vowel? <laughs> um. Well, let's just guess here. Uh, that's. I thought it was gravy, but gravy is down further. Yeah, away from yeah. Gravy boat. Um. It's mushy and white. Uh, the, that's correct. It is mushy and white. Is it with pepper on it? I don't know. Ba, 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 ba. Well, it's awful. <laughs> yeah, because we can't tell what it is. <laughs> broccoli. I, I don't. I don't eat broccoli at Christmas. I think broccoli is absolutely delicious. I love for broccoli the most normally, part. but for um, a Christmas dinner, I'm gonna say it's pretty meh. Yeah, because I don't want to fill my plate with broccoli. Yeah, so we, so we agree with meh? Yeah, I think so. So my issue good. here is, what are these? Are these like raw Brussels sprouts and these are cooked? Like, what's going on here? I think we have Brussels sprouts with bacon compared to d halved, steamed? halved Brussels sprouts <laughs> roasted with bacon and then just steamed bland Brussels sprouts. Well, that's, I know where they're going. <laughs> so I've never had Brussels sprouts with bacon for Christmas, but I keep seeing a lot of stuff about it. I think it's I think a it would be, popular I think thing. it would be very good. I think it would be very three, good. Three down from the, from the top. I think it would be very good. We yeah. just need to find someone to make it for us, I guess. Let's go with very good. Plain uh, steamed Brussels sprouts with pepper on them? No. <laughs> pretty poor. Yeah, I don't want that. I think that's worse than the broccoli. I think so. Okay, we're going to go with poor. Is that mashed sweet potatoes? That is mashed sweet <laughs> <No>. potatoes. <laughs> with a little bit of seasoning on top. It looks like maybe you got some parsley on there. I don't know why. Where, where's the gravy, though? Oh, okay. Are we sure, though? Because alphabetically, that wouldn't make sense. Uh, what do you What do you think it would be? I don't... Is it like carrot mush? Because carrots are nice. Carrot. Maybe it is mush carrot. Oh. Because... No. What? Butternut squash. Butternut squash. Okay. It's butternut squash. It's I butternut bet. squash because it was right after. It's after Brussels sprouts. Uh, and before Brussels carrots. sprouts. In parentheses, uncooked. <laughs> <laughs> Unseasoned. I don't want to eat just like I like butternut squash. I don't want to just eat butternut squash mush for Christmas. I don't like butternut squash mush. <laughs> that doesn't sound good to me. Your butternut squash soup is really good. I would, I would probably, yeah, that's fine. I would probably eat this white mush over this mush. I don't think I would because that white mush just looks like sausage gravy by itself. <laughs> sausage gravy is pretty good. <laughs> okay, you're saying. I'm saying orange poor. mush. Oh, I agree. It has to be either one of these. I'm saying. Poor. You think poor? I'd rather eat it than the white mush. <laughs> okay, well, just because of that, because we both agree on awful on this one. Yeah, I think that thing needs a tier of its own. <laughs> yeah, I'd put it right in between. Okay, okay uh, just carrots. Cooked just carrots. cooked carrots. I don't, carrots. Like cooked I, carrots. I don't like them. I would, I would say, say they're poor. I agree. Okay, wow. This is going a lot better than I expected. I thought is this we'd have more arguments. That's what I know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do we have if here? If there's any sort of Mexican food for Christmas, it would be um, tamales. No, that's not tamales because E I'm, comes saying, after after C. Thank you, and I, they don't and, look like tamales. I'm saying if there were and a Mexican Christmas food, it'd be it's tamales. actually the next letter, not enchiladas. <laughs> so what do you think it is? So cranberry sauce is after this, so we know we're still in. C. Oh, that's true. That's we're true. That's C smart. A and C R. Oh wow! I didn't think of that. That's why I brought her on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's um. Oh. It's like a potato thing. A potato thing, okay. No, I was thinking fondant P potatoes. P comes after I was C. thinking fondant potatoes, but that wouldn't make sense alphabetically. P, P is uh, later in the alphabet. Thank you. Um, I... It's corn. Oh, no. Corn. I bet it's cauliflower. Oh, you think that's cauliflower? I think it's roasted cauliflower. I, w I would put that roasted cauliflower. Uh, I'd put I that probably good. Uh, you think it's above broccoli? I think it would Are be. Are we eating roasted cauliflower at Christmas? I'm not. Not necessarily, but look at it. 
compared to that broccoli, yeah, I would eat that. I eat that above that broccoli. <laughs> and, I mean, it's probably good. I like broccoli. Not necessarily bar. would you eat it too often, but it's probably pretty good. Remember at the apartment, I made some pretty good uh, cauliflower mac and cheese. What? Remember? No. You okay. Know? Okay. Cranberry sauce. <laughs> For Thanksgiving, I would rank it higher, but I don't eat turkey at th- at Christmas. You don't even eat turkey at Christmas. We eat ham at Christmas, not turkey. So you don't have cranberry so sauce. So we don't have cranberry sauce at Christmas. So I don't need it. This is all yeah. new to me. Um, back when I was a kid, we didn't have holidays. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Santa wasn't real. And <laughs> All right. We don't need to get into is, my childhood. Santa is real, children. <laughs> Santa 100% is real. Okay. Cranberries. And he, and he got his COVID vaccine. Shh, shh, shh. Just saying. Cut that out of the video. Um, <laughs> <laughs> cauliflower. Not cauliflower, cranberry <laughs> sauce. Cranberry. Where would you place cranberry sauce? Now, if, I know where I'd put it. If I need to ah. eat turkey on Christmas, I'd say it's good. I like it on my turkey. You would say it's good. I'd say good. But I don't normally eat turkey on Christmas, so. I would say it's pretty meh. Really? So I'm going to throw that on the map. Wow. Why does your opinion override mine? Because you said it's Christmas, so you... That's true. So I don't really We put it, it down a tier anyway. Gravy? Gravy is oh, excellent. Oh, necessary. Yeah. Excellent. It's almost God tier. Mm, yeah, cause because what is... Well, again, do I don't do? eat turkey I, on hey, Christmas. I would eat turkey on Christmas. If it, if it was made for me, I would definitely eat a big old turkey on Christmas. You're going to eat the whole turkey? I'll eat the whole turkey. I'll have another, please. Hey, we have a turkey breast in the freezer. So. We do. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll have turkey for our own Christmas. That's right. So I would say it's excellent say, or God. I almost want to say God tier because it goes on the stuffing if you make stuffing. It goes on the turkey. It goes on the potatoes if you have mashed potatoes. That I think is it's true. I think it's very integral to multiple dishes it's necessary. of a Christmas dinner. And it's delicious. Mashed potatoes, same thing. You think mashed potatoes are god tier? I love, I love potatoes. I mean, they're great, but gravy goes on so many different things. Um, okay, fine, you want I to say like I think it's excellent. Those look really good. Those they, look like they, very they look buttery. buttery. They look they're seasoned. Very good. They look delicious. But have you checked those potatoes in the pantry? No. You should but, check those potatoes. But potatoes as a whole. Uh, they're not as healthy as gravy. Gravy has no fat. <laughs> <laughs> no. no calories. All right. All right. You want it in God tier with I, the gravy? But again, I grew up eating scalloped potatoes for Christmas, not mashed potatoes. My, mashed potatoes are delicious. But we eat scalloped pot- Mashed potatoes are Thanksgiving. Scalloped potatoes does not matter what Christmas. you did with tradition. I'm yeah. just saying, like, if this is a, I think this excellent I, food, this well, is Christmas. Food. Yeah, it's true, but I think excellent. I think they're very delicious, and okay. I'll throw some gravy I on. I agree. I was going for excellent. No, you were going for God tier, and no, I, 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 I put, I pulled you down. <laughs> <laughs> is that meatloaf? That's that's mashed potatoes and meatloaf. <laughs> excellent. No, <laughs> the man who refuses to eat meatloaf. Well, it's disgusting. I don't. I don't know. If I, it's think, awful. I, th- I think. I think. Oh, well, the meatloaf I had was definitely awful. That I mean, my mom makes a decent meatloaf. Does she? There's onions in it, which I don't really like. But if it was meatloaf versus that white mush, I'm eating the meatloaf. Really? Yeah. I would take my chances. <laughs> <laughs> With just random gloppy, <laughs> thick white goo. You want it in poor? I think next it, to the carrots. I think it, and the carrot mush. Honestly, yeah, I would rank it with. Oh, the carrots. I would have to put it below, but what, we're gonna go with poor this time. Okay. What is what is um, this? It looks like uh, some sort of. I think it is roasted parsnips because it's between meat parsnips? and peas. And I've heard of people eating parsnips for Christmas. But that does not. That looks like potatoes. That looks like uh, halved potatoes roasted. What shape are your potatoes? That looks like a halved parsnip. <laughs> it looks like a russet, and I know my russets. No, it does not. Sure does. What russet is that long? And then it tapers down. It's wider at one end and skinny Fine. Right I looked at it a little bit closer. I, I, it's a parsnip. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever eaten parsnips. Uh, they're they're like a, a carrot, but more dirt flavor. So like a carrot and a beet? Yeah, kind of mixed together. And a potato? No, not a potato. But they're white. They don't taste like potatoes? No, they taste like a dirty carrot. 
Okay, well, I guess it goes in poor. <laughs> yeah, right and next to the... they look decently seasoned. They, they have look decent. some, like, but... parsley on top. <laughs> peas. Awful. <laughs> you think peas are awful? I hate cooked peas. They are mush and gross, and they, ugh. If they there was peas like provided, I would eat them. I, if there were I, peas I think provided, they're decent. I would absolutely ignore them, which I have done my entire life. So I would them. put them n- not anything above good for sure. I would put them in awful. <laughs> okay, don't. okay. If well, he, well here's... They are raw out of the garden or like snow peas. And here's and the salad. first one we have that we uh, completely disagree on because I think they're decent. I don't like them at all. So I would put them probably in good because I would I definitely would, put them on my plate. I would put them with the awful and ignore them. <laughs> so if I ch- think good and you think awful, where are we going in between? It's got to be met or poor. <sighs> If I had to, like if someone said I had to eat these peas, otherwise I was going to die. You got some butter on there. You got some salt and pepper. Yeah, that's mm, my point. If I, had, if I had to eat them, I could eat them. Would I enjoy it? No. Does the mushy texture once you bite through the skin gross me out? Absolutely. But I could eat them. So we'll go with meh. You think meh. You're going to go up two tiers and let me only go down one. Yeah. That's well, what marriage is all about. There we go. You heard it from... Uh, from her. <laughs> okay, pigs in a blanket. That's bacon wrapped something. Yeah, bacon wrapped pigs in a blanket. You think so? I don't see the blanket. I only see bacon. I think it's just a bacon wrapped wiener. The, what do you call a bacon wrapped wiener? It's I don't a know. it's a little smokies wrapped in bacon. It's a piggy. It's a bacon wrapped little smoky. Okay. Well, it's a piggy. Is little smoky copyrighted by John Morrell? It's a little piggy in a blanket with bacon instead of dough. It looks delicious. <laughs> it looks amazing. Very good. I, w- I would say even excellent, perhaps. I don't know, because I don't really know what entirely they're made out of. Like, what are you talking be- about? It's, it's a little wiener, which is delicious. <laughs> I always love them. Why do you love little wieners? I mean, they, they're nice and succulent, <laughs> especially with that bacon wrap. Oh, delicious. Of course, it's very greasy. Um, very good's fine. I'll put it. I'll put it with the very good. But now I feel like Brussels sprouts should go down a tier. I was gonna say I think Brussels sprouts should go up a tier because what? I think I'd rather have the Brussels sprouts with bacon. Oh than no, grease on grease on grease. Well, I guess they're staying the same because I disagree. <laughs> I was like, we should probably shift these down. These no. guys look delicious. No. Okay, we got some coleslaw here. That is some. Not, I don't know if this is even coleslaw. I think it's just purple cabbage. Purple, ca- purple cabbage. It's like a nice, uh, nice slaw. It's like a nice. Um, I'm not, about kimchi. To, I'm not about to waste some plate space on that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't waste much it, space on it, that. It looks good. It's probably, I like probably a nice vinaigrette dressing on it. I probably wouldn't put it on my plate. I would put it lower than peas. So I would say meh for me because I said good on peas. I'd say meh. Okay, we can we can throw it in the meh. Is it garlic bread? Who eats garlic bread at Christmas? I mean, we garlic, need to because garlic bread is yum. absolutely delicious. I, I would say garlic. that's excellent. I agree. You put it on every plate. I like, don't need it at Christmas, but it's going to find a spot if it shows up at Christmas sometime. Easily excellent. Okay. I don't know what this is. Is that a turkey loaf? That looks like a nice turkey. No. Uh, this is a no. full turkey. So this is back that's here. stuffing. So it's something above stuffing in the alphabet. Above? It could be stuffed turkey. Stuffed turkey, perhaps. Um... I think it might be. It might be stuffed turkey breast. Okay, I could I could get down with some stuffed bur- that turkey looks breast. Good. Like that. I'd say looks excellent. Amazing. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I've never really had it. Yeah, it might but be kind of dry. But it looks absolutely delicious. That's what the god tier is for. <laughs> the pour on all of this stuff, <laughs> and then it turns into god tier. It's all good. <laughs> all right, so this stuffing. is regular stuffing. I would say mm, it's very good. I say God tier. I love stuffing. I mean... Stuffing takes up so much of my plate at Thanksgiving. I get seconds of it here's how Here's how Thanksgiving works. This is Christmas, by the way. But here's how Thanksgiving works. Is I have protein. That's my main plate. No, it's not. You had mashed potatoes and gravy on your Christmas. Okay. Christ. Well, no. I'm, t- I'm talking about the main source. Okay. I got a lot of protein on there. Sure, mashed potatoes and gravy. Yes, obviously a big factor in there. But roll adds a lot. And baked beans add a lot. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, there's no baked beans on this. It's Christmas. Um, I'm pretty sure we will have baked beans on Christmas this hey, year. Hey, not with this list. You won't. I'm just saying. All right. We're going to have baked beans at <laughs> Christmas this yes. year. Yes. Stuffing does not factor into that trifecta. 
Stuffing absolutely factors into my trifecta, and I have it on basically every plate that I go back for. I would say very good. You say god tier? I guess it makes an, it excellent. Another excellent. There we go. Turkey. A whole turkey on Christmas. Hey, um, This list does not even have ham on it. What do you call... Uh, prime rib? That's prime rib. There's no ham on this Christmas list. There's no ham. Who made this? Uh, somebody who hates Christmas. I guess, because <laughs> ham is the Christmas protein. Yeah, what is this? More turkey, I think. <laughs> hey, you can't go wrong with more dry turkey, so you can put gravy on it. No, so... Okay, I don't think this thing's an alphabetical list, because why would prime rib be after turkey? He's going through the alphabet in his head right now, by the way. No, I'm just trying to figure any letter that could be possibly after T that makes sense of this. Um, Nothing. <laughs> you know, rib is definitely before T. Um, tri-tip would be after turkey. It's tri-tip. There it is. That would be after turkey. T-R comes after T-U. Yeah, so it's after the turkey. No, that's backward. <laughs> No, you're wrong. Okay, this isn't a turkey, then, guys. <laughs> it's a chicken the whole time. <laughs> okay, let's just go through the list. Okay, we'll but I'm just saying ham is God tier. Warmed up ham with, like, whatever brown sugary, like, Yeah, that would be right and good. That'd be right and good. Just because you hate pork. Yeah, I don't like pork that much. I love much. pork. Okay, let's oh, finish I, this. I don't like pork, but I think that... That pork sausages with bacon wrapped around them should be god tier. No, I said excellent. Still. Well, I said very good, I think. Yeah, we both said very good. Did we? Yeah. Okay. You no wanted way. to raise the Brussels sprouts. All right. <laughs> <laughs> let's, get, let's get this turkey out of the way. Okay. Turkey, as a whole, turkey's not that great. I've had like one really, really good turkey in my mm, life. I could always get down with some turkey. I would say it's excellent. That's because you like deli meat turkey. Well, no. regular No, this turkey? this turkey right here... If, if with if it's gravy, in gravy, definitely excellent. I would eat more of that than pretty much anything else. Really? Mm -hmm, I definitely. go for sides more. I like. I'm a carb oh, person. Oh, that turkey looks delicious right now. Okay, I yeah. Where would you put it? Like, honest opinion, right now. I'd probably have to go with excellent, just because it's a staple. Okay, but like for you Christmas, need, you need where, where would you go? Well, I eat ham on <laughs> Christmas. That's I don't the care problem. what you do. I'd say very good. You would say very good? I would say excellent. But but since there's no ham, I'd be willing to raise it to excellent. Okay, we'll put it in the excellent. But I think we got to re-rank something. Okay, what's that? Now that turkey is excellent and we know that we don't Mashed have Mashed potatoes? Cranberry sauce. Where do you want that? Very good. You want cranberry sauce up to very good because you got a turkey instead of ham? Yes. I do not agree. Why not? I think it's a mad item, so I we can put it, should, it in good. I think it should at least be good. Okay, well, it's not going above that because... I'm putting cranberry sauce on my turkey slices if I'm having turkey for Christmas. <sighs> I'm putting the big old gravy on there. What are you I talking about? I do both. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> so we got tri-tip. We got Prime ribs. Rib, <laughs> ribs, beef. It's what's for dinner. I grew up poor, so we didn't have prime rib for Christmas. But I would love to be a person who... Had a hundred dollar prime rib as their Christmas dinner. I'd be happy with a fifty dollar prime rib, to be honest. You rich uh, blood over here. I worked at a grocery store. Those <laughs> things coming through were hundred dollars. <laughs> anyway, uh, I would put this guy up to. I'd put him up to excellent. Okay. But if you want, you think God tier? I think he's very delicious. Like, would I pick the the prime rib over a turkey? Yes, I would. I probably would as well. We'll we'll stick it up here with the wow. gravy. Okay. All right. And now we have turkey again. I don't understand. I'm confused. I don't know what this. Is. This is just the turkey breast without stuffed. So I think that just automatically makes it very good. You think that's lower than? I feel like the stuffed one is more likely to be dried out. Ah. You broke it. You broke ah. the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> the stuffed life. one can't be more dried out. Why not? Because it's stuffed with uh, stuff that uh, makes it tender and tasty. Uh, you think bread is going to moisten the turkey? The bread's going to oh, dry delicious. out. Oh, delicious. The bread's going to dry out the moisture. That's why this thing exists. <laughs> it's called gravy. <laughs> you pour it on everything. That's why holidays were created, so, because of gravy. So, if we're thinking about it logistically. <laughs> I'm thinking very good. Would you rather make just a breast, or would you rather make an entire turkey? Huh. Would Depends on what I have. I have breast right now. <laughs> I <know. laughs> so I guess I would make that one. <laughs> I know. 
Yeah, and when we had an entire frozen turkey sat in our freezer for a year and then we made, threw it away. If somebody made this for me, though, I'd be like, yeah, take it off the bone. Give me the give me the I, breast off the bone. I don't know. Like, I it's th- such a hassle to deal with the bones and the carving. And so everything. you think this automatically sits in excellent or, or god tier? I think it can go to excellent. I don't know about god tier. I, I don't know. You think only very good? I think only very good, but we can that's stick fair. it in no, excellent. That's fair because uh, there's it's more. Pretty close with if the, somebody, the weenie if bacon. somebody did this, made this meal for me, all of these items, I would choose a stuffed over a non-stuffed, just to, really? at least just to try it just, out. Yeah, I think this just comes from our lack of culture because we've never had stuffed. But turkey this for guy for Christmas saves all. Oh, it's a little bit dry. Sure, turkey can be dry when you don't when you cook it a little long. Boom. There we go. You got your gravy. I think this can be more delicious. It's got more spices on there. I'm eating a bunch of stuffing on the side anyway, so uh, I don't need to be stuffed on the side, though. What is this? I don't know. So it comes after... Tea? Tea. Stuffed... I honestly don't have a clue. It looks like cheese stuffed something. There's a nice place for don't have a clue... Yeah, uh, no, but I don't know. That I would probably try. If I saw it and I said, I don't know what the heck this is. I can't put it back. <laughs> okay. What do you want? I'd put it in good. I'd try it. Just like I would try those, okay. the, the whatever the other thing is. I can agree. Um, like it looks like it's got some cheese Like in I, it I can't say it's matte or poor when I haven't even tasted it. I, I'd try it. This, I don't know if I'd even <laughs> I touch it. I don't think I would. <laughs> that looks bad. Him over meatloaf though. All right. <laughs> he he might be good on top of the meatloaf. I'm telling you, it might be like some sort of sausage gravy. So it looks like we have finished. So we got gravy, prime rib. Oh no, not prime rib. Tri tip. I think it's prime rib. Oh still. yeah, still prime rib. I just not tri tip. I don't know that these were actually in alphabetical order entirely. I think they're I think they're they screwed were, up. They were messed up. Uh, excellent. We got uh, biscuits and gravy. What? <laughs> mashed, potatoes? mashed potatoes. We got rolls. We got stuffed Is turkey. It rolls. I don't know. We put it up no, there. No, we got garlic bread. Garlic bread. Uh, garlic bread. Yeah. Yeah. Stuffed turkey, stuffing, and turkey. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Bacon. Bacon and pan-roasted Brussels sprouts. Bacon-wrapped wiener and pan-roasted Brussels sprouts with turkey that looks a little bit dry on the I'd inside compared to the stuffed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, I don't know what to say, croquettes? No, oh. those were cauliflower. Oh, right, cauliflower. And then cranberry sauce, what do we have here? And then cheesy, cheesy carby uh, goodness, I think. Yeah, those are those, those could be okay. Yeah. Broccoli, peas, uh, and coleslaw. Cabbage. Yeah, that's meh. That's all meh. Uh, more c- worse Brussels sprouts. Oh well, yeah, worse Brussels sprouts than those for sure. Um, carrot mush. Carrot. No, I think it's sweet potato. Mush. No, no it's butternut squash mush. That's what it was. It was butternut squash mush. Oh yeah, and that's that's pretty awful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> carrot. <laughs> carrots, meatloaf, and par- parsnips. I, I feel like parsnips deserve to be above meatloaf. Do you think they're just meh? I've never had a parsnip, so I don't know. They do look better than meatloaf. <laughs> meatloaf. <laughs> okay. Parsnips are met. Okay, and then, and then awful slop. Is this white slop. White slop is awful. <laughs> All right. All right. You uh, heard it from us. <laughs> join us for our next video. Okay. We're gonna go through Christmas chocolates and treats, which is my personal specialty. And not at all Thorag's specialty, because he hates things that taste good. Okay, you fatty. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Way less than you. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.